Hey everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, this episode we've got a lot to cover so let's just get right into it. Um, beforehand we killed this gargoyle that normally sits over here so if you haven't done that do that now. Otherwise you want to come down here, there's a page knight just down here that you want to be wary of. He can be a big pain. Um, anyways from here grab the smithing six and then just jump onto this rooftop and this rooftop here um, we have a couple of those Lindell knights so one's an archer so I suggest fighting in these sort of barn areas because the archer's up top over here and this is the guy we are trying to fight without the archer's bullcrap although he's just going to do a lightning thing now Well, you want to hit through walls, so can I. I feel like this is the most bullshit tactic, but that is fine. Yeah, got him. Cool. Okay, to get rid of the archer, if he doesn't jump down and try to follow you, you can just come over here on this little pillar, and then jump onto here. And jump onto here. Nope, that didn't quite work. Wow, we were too fat. Normally he's come down by now anyway, so that's weird. Um, grab the old fan. What do we grab? Gravestone. Oh, gravelstone seal? Oh, this is just annoying. Come down and fight. Thank you. Alrighty. Gravel stone. Coming around the back here. I don't think we have much. Nah, nothing. Okay, cool. Um, so from here, jump onto the dragon's hand, run down the claw, and jump onto the rooftop. And then jump to this rooftop, or this little area. Grab the smithing six, grab the stone sword key. Jump on down. Now we're going to head into uh, the main area. So this is just a, a replica of round table hold. Um, and right here you see we have our Volcano Manor, manor contract. Uh, this is from... Uh, what's his name? The guy with the, the shiny armor. The one originally from the Warmaster Shack. I can't remember his name. Oh, Bernal. That's his name. Ha! Um, so he joins us in this fight. I'd strongly suggest taking the sorcerer out first. There we go. It's a sneaky bloody attack. Cool, and with him gone. And there we go. Alright, so we have one more contract to fulfill with this. So just grab your armor set. Um, come up here, grab the Ulrich's pointed hat. And then we're going to go so to the... We start off sort of southwest. We're going to go to the southeast um, doorway first. There's a prayer book in here. So you can see like in the round table hold, this is where like Nefeli would be sitting. This is where we use the stone sword key. So we have the two fingers prayer book and bolts for a crossbow. Got a couple of guys in here. Should really turn on the lantern. 
I mean, like, there's nothing in here to skip for these guys. Alright, coming on out. We are going to go through the uh, the western gate rather than the northeastern gate. For a grace. You can hear probably hear my puppy barking in the background. We've got a smithing five. Uh, we really want to hit the grace first. There we go. And there's a painting just behind us. Alright, so grab that, and then from here, just to quickly grab the loot from that painting, you want to come all the way to the, the windmill heights. Alright, now actually, I should have not got on my horse, there's Millicent right here. Alright, so she's quite happy. Alright, so we just want to go all the way over here. Uh, I saw there's an item that I missed. Here's the uh, the portrait dude. So, fire is deadly sin. Um, now, there's only one more painting to go, and that's way later on, so it's fine. Oh, it's only a gold fire. Fly, fly. Fire, fly. Wow, I can't speak English. Uh, don't want to go to the sealed tunnel. We want to go... Fortified Manor, first floor. Alright, from here, um, turn on the lantern, we're going to go to that other door. Now the reason why I went to that grace first rather than second is because we, uh, we tackle a couple of, what do you call them, um, Iron Maiden things, you know, with abductor virgins, that's what they're called, and they can be a bit spicy, so um, there's two of them here. So, if you do die here, at least you've got a grace to fall back to. They're like, that really should have hit, but that's alright. Okay, and then going outside, wherever outside is. Oh, it's right there. Uh, there should be another one right there. Oh, damn it, got me. Mash them buttons. That attack can really kill, man. Ooh, I can't believe that missed. I'm lucky because that would have killed me. Right. Thank God that is done. Okay, grab the nascent butterfly. And the Stormhawk Axe. Um, now from here, the thing with this is we've already been here. We transported this way, oh, like, way back in Limgrave. So I'm just going to activate the um, the elevator just so, you know, we can freely use it. Um, but otherwise, like, it brings us to the Divine Bridge. Now there's a Talisman up there, there's a Transporter up there, and a Golem. Um, I, we'll come back to that later because we, we need to go to this tower here um, for... Uh, I believe it's Millennia and Morgoth? No, Morgoth's way later. There, there's two of them that you, can, that you can get there. Or the east one, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll figure it out nearer the time. But anywho, so that is the whole first layer of this area. The second layer is uh, just up top. It's got a couple of cool items and stuff like that. So, we will go all the way here. We want to take the south route from the entrance. It's a couple of dogs. 
I think there's a dog in here. No, there is not. There's a dog there. So you can just run up here and they'll chase you, which is great, because it just lets you sort of choke point them. If they don't attack you by the time you get up. One more. Oh, he's running around like a crazy person. That just wanted to prove me wrong. Anyways, grab the golden rune nine. Fine, stay there. And then the second floor to this place. Um, so this is the area where we found Dee's body. And you come through here, and to your left is a couple of items where you'd find the, uh, what do you call it, the blacksmith? You've got the sacrificial wheat blade, uh, sacrificed, sac what, sanctified wheat blade, and the hammer. Uh, smithing six. So that wet blade will just allow you to put, uh, I think it's like holy or sacred on your, your weapons, uh, as well as lightning, which is kind of cool. You get the buy my sword emote, and you get a hero's rune. Uh, by the way, after we finish the capital, we are going to be tackling the rest of Fear's um, quest line and stuff like that, so don't worry about that too much. Get the rune arc, and then come on here where the two fingers normally are. I think this is the, uh, the coded sword. Which, if memory serves me rightly, is a faith weapon. Looks pretty damn cool, too. Yep, the coded sword, and that is... A straight sword that scales in faith. Yeah, there you go. 20 faith. So, could be kind of cool. I'd love to do like a, a faith build. Um, just based on these sorts of swords and stuff like that. I've never tried, but it's definitely going to be my next playthrough. Grab the smithing five. And Gideon's room has a fur calling finger. And then the bell bearing room doesn't have anything. The dung eater's room. What does that have? A seed bed, seed bed curse. So there we go. Um, so from here, you can pretty much just go back to the uh, the west capital rampart. All right, and we're going to take uh, the south direction. So we're going to be going up there to the Colosseum. Um, at this point in time, uh, there is no DLC yet, so there's like speculation that the DLC is going to be for these Colosseums and stuff like that. Could be kind of cool. There's quite a few of them around the place. Um, and really, I would tackle all these guys with the Bloodhound's Fang. I can't wait to get the, my my other weapons up to like fully fully max, you know, plus 10 and plus 25. They will just rip and tear, man. Oh lord. Whoa, yeah, that doesn't surprise me that killed me. I just saw my health as that happened. Sheesh. You died. Okay, let's try that again. This is areas where I wish I had my horse so I could just like ride through all of this crap. Not happening, that is fine. What are my stats at at the moment? Uh, so endurance is 32, yeah, so we're focusing on endurance. Alright, and that's my equipment, that is fine. might be a little bit of a a long episode but that is no trouble I feel like last episode was really on point I'm stoked with that get out of the way Ooh. yeah that's how the fight should have gone I don't know why that went so horribly wrong before and then we have a second one this guy can actually drop his hammer too
All right, so we've got the Ritual Shield Talisman. And if we come all the way over here, I'm just going to top up my health. We should have Corrin and his little son dude. Okay, don't give him a prayer book. Ask about the noble gold mask. Okay, so just keep talking to him. Exhaustive dialogue. Talk to this dude. Doesn't really care. That is fine. As long as we talk to him, should be all good. Uh, from here, we are going to go make our way to this area here. We're going to do a boss. And then we're going to figure out what he's talking about. Uh, now, I want to include that all on the same episode, just so it's just not scattered and stuff like that. Hence why it may be a little bit of a longer episode. But that is totally fine. So, come all the way down here. Uh, I don't believe there's anything that way. We want to go up this tree route here. I um, feel like it's pretty safe to pull my little knives out. Um, where am I going? Okay, this way. So these guys are pretty chumpy, not a problem. Uh, so you want to come down here. Wouldn't even bother with these guys, I mean like one hit. Oh, okay, maybe not one hit. There we go. Uh, is there even anything of value up here? There's not. It's just down here. Smithing six. And I believe that is it. So, for the boss fight, um, this guy is very similar to... Uh, Godric? Godric the Grafted? Um, only... Less roly. But, I mean, yeah... It, by this stage, like, whatever the, the boss moves are, like, you shouldn't be affected by them. You should be strong enough to at least just take them out and go for it. My dog is doing weird crap. Oh, I hope we got one of their weapons. Don't you roll off? We got the braces. Ah, oh, the other one rolled off, damn it. Okay, and before we hit the boss, we just want to take this little turn here. What's our time at? Almost 20 minutes. Kill that dude, grab the holy grease. May as well kill that dude. Okay, and through here is the boss. So, like usual, when you come in, summon up your summons. I am going to use the Bloodhound's Fang. Our Mimic already has the, uh, the Wing of Estelle, so it's fine. I feel like this guy's giving way more grief to the, to the um, Mimic than anything. Eh, 
And there we go, he's down. All right, and we've got an extra talisman pouch. Now that will come in handy for what we're about to do. Um, yeah, we'll rest at that. And in fact, yeah, I reckon this will just get us enough for a second level. choice now what we need at the moment is um a prayer book which is up top there's actually an item over here i don't think it's anything great i think it's like holy grease or something like that or might even be and it's definitely not a rune arc holy grease it is six of them nice okay so yeah we need a prayer book um this will help us change the statue that that sun guy was looking at and we can talk to him and he's all dumbfounded and stuff and yes yeah, so come up the tree root um while we're here we may as well hit this grace save us time in the next episode hey there's also a black knight here so just be aware of that but i mean down and out in like three hits. Alright, so hit that grace. Blessing of the Erd Tree. And this is where we'll start to, to finish, uh, finish the main boss uh, next episode. It's pretty quick. We've got a, a couple of things to do next episode. So anyways, you want to come back here and jump on the rooftop. And from here, we're going up into this hole here. Chuck on the lantern. Alright, so you want the Erd Tree Bow. Not crucial, but if you want it, go you. Grab Celestial Dew, and then, of course, you can kick down this ladder. And here is the prayer book that you need. Oop. So, the Golden Order Principa. So, from here, we are just going to go to the, uh, where is it, the Church of Vows? That's not it, that's it there. All right, and through here. Talk to your turtle, give him a prayer book. Okay, study incantations, and you want the law of regression. So, with that under our belts, uh, we want to go all the way back. To the where is it? The Urtree Sanctuary. Um, so there's a couple of ways to do this. We need to raise our intelligence up to 37. Now, yes, this is a face spell, but it does require 37 intelligence. So we'll just quickly come in here, memorize that spell now, get rid of that. Um, Law of regression. So it requires intelligence for a face spell. Yeah, I thought that was weird too. Um, anywho, so we don't actually have 37 intelligence, however, all it should really take is us putting on a rune arc, and then we can. Um, so that is fine. Other ways of upping that, so let's see, the rune arc with Godric's Great Rune uh, will up us five stats on every stat that we've got. However, you can also do things like... Uh, Stargazer's heirloom, which will raise intelligence. You can put on. Uh, is it. Yep, so. Marika's Scar Seal, which will take you up three points, so that already takes us up to 48 uh, with that. 
which by the way I'm not going to need so I'm going to change out for the winged sword insignia just because that will work really well with my um, my two blades. Um, you can also put on pretty sure where is it one of these helmets like I mean this guy here the twin twin sage glintstone crown that adds what like six points six points of intelligence um, so it's a little things like that I even think there's a shield that you can use if you're really desperate and you can't seem to just get yourself up to that that level you can always come all the way back to the rare Lucaria Grand Library and respec but um, to be honest there are so many different ways of getting your intelligence up uh, to 37 from not even putting a single point in that you won't need it um, what you will need is a seal which do we have any on us we do we have the claw mark seal nice Alrighty. Yeah, so we're already at 45 intelligence, which is pretty impressive. Okay, and from here, what you want to do is grab out your seal, stand at this message here where it says regression alone after... What? Regress regression alone reveals secrets. Do your law of regression. We'll see the statue change into Marika. Take that off. Awesome, and there we go for that. Um, no item over. Is that is that a person? No, it's a rock. Um, so now you can go back and talk to him. But there is a couple of things we want to do first. Take out the perfumers. Grab the holy grease. All right, we have a Lindell knight coming up, as well as a crucible knight. Um, this guy here, he's running towards the Crucible Knight, so you just want to be careful with this. It's one of these guys. Actually, I don't think there is a Lindell Knight. Oh, you're so close, buddy. There you go. Alright, so now we're going to go for this little critter. Who's going to run back on us? Oh, This one's kind of easier to get just because he sort of spins in one place for a bit. Ah. How did he miss that? Oh, that's frustrating. Alright, you know what? He will get hit. There we go. Hit the uh, barrier of gold. And there's nothing back here. So from here, we're going to pick up um, a legendary sword, which you do need for your platinum. I think it's like the legendary armaments, I think is the word. Uh, so you want to just come over here and then just jump, drop down, and you want to do this kind of quickly because you're going to get archers firing at you and stuff like that jump onto the sword, aim for the pointy bits, and this last one you have to jump over. Oh no. That was frustrating. That one. Okay, well, that was annoying, so let's try that one more time. Over we go. Yeah, there we go, got him. All right, and the Bolt of Grand Sex. So back to the, actually we want to come back to the, uh, the West Capital Rampart. And we're going to see the Golden Sun Head dude one more time.
All right. Yeah. Just eat my sword, dude. Got him. Cool. Did he drop anything? Nah, damn it. Ask about the noble gold mask. Okay, he's still saying the same old crap. So you want to just whisper to this guy. He's still stunned. Alright, so he's got some pretty cool face spells if that's what you're into. Um, I would suggest buying these probably by the end of the, the game, so, you know, the final boss, just so that when you go into New Game Plus, you can actually just have a play around with different things. Um, other than that, you want to go to the Queen's Bedchamber, and that is our episode done. Um, so yeah, next time we're taking on the main boss to this, uh, to this area, I believe it's Morgot who is pretty much just a replica of Murgat the, the Fell Omen. I'm not even sure if it may even be the same person. I'm not even sure. Um, but anyways, thank you all for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the page. I will see you here next time.